fun for recording. What's up, Jay-Z Fishing? Today we are doing the October slash September, you know, like talking about what happened in September and what we're expecting in October month review. So, Jay, you want to kick us off? Uh, sure. So, in the month of September, we can start off by talking about what happened in September. Uh, we caught some fish. It was definitely one of the less productive fishing months of the year. A little bit better, better than August. Zach's green screen is going crazy right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think you guys can, can, you know, voice your opinions. But I definitely think it was a better fishing month in September. What happened in September? Well, that was in August. In August, it was September was a better fishing month than August. I agree with that. September, I caught my first ever catfish. So did oh, Joe. Mm -hmm. so did Jack. I was September was definitely a better freshwater fishing month. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, much agreed. freshwater or saltwater just in general over the past two months has been very bad. Leopard sharks were breeding, so we caught lots of baby ones, but we haven't caught an actually decent-sized leopard shark in a few months. Same with stingrays. We haven't caught a big stingray in a while. But, yeah. Well, yeah, but – been amazing. Yeah, and so to the best of my knowledge, I think the stripers are moving in right now to the San Francisco Bay, and you guys can give us some tips. We've uh, tried to go out for stripers multiple times. They have been eluding our, uh, our lines pretty recently. We've had zero hookups. We're thinking about trying Loch Lomond because we've caught, that's like the one place that we have actually caught stripers. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any tips, please tell us in the comment section. But yeah, that's definitely one thing we're going to be trying to do. And then I know uh, Jack is not too interested in it. Zach is somewhat interested in it. He just doesn't want to get up too early. Benicia State Park. Um, um. What'd you we say? About going to Benicia State Park to try and catch some king salmon. Yep. At least Joe. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll go, but we, if we were going to go there, we have to get up at 5 a.m. So well, you maybe. Describe. Yes, maybe. I <laughs> yeah. Think, I figured yeah, out a spot that's not too popular. So we either have a couple options. We could either go early and have a better chance of catching a fish, or we could go a little later and a less chance of catching a fish. So it's, we'll talk about that, me and Zach. But I think if me and Zach go do that, Jack will probably do something else because Jack is not a huge saltwater fan to begin with and does not want to drive up to Benicia to go catch salmon. But, yeah. I have a chance of catching salmon. Yeah. But, yeah, um, so that's something to look forward to in the coming month. Yep. And then um, uh, let's talk about our tournament from this month. Uh, from September or from, for October? No, for, se for September. All right, so from September, we went to Bon Tempe. Uh, this month was kind of like, you know, in all senses, it was really a freshwater month. Like, not only did we just go fishing a lot of freshwater, but we had our tournament today or this month on, on freshwater. Um, congratulations to Fish and Films for winning that. Um, ben, our you guys want to go check out that video? No, no I will be up there. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so that was cool. Uh, this month, though, if you guys are interested in those tournaments, we're going to be doing some sort of saltwater spot. Uh, we don't know yet, but it is going to be a saltwater fishing tournament this year, this month. So, and be on the look. one other thing too, I think one thing that we did last uh, last month is we asked you guys, the viewers, what you guys want to do for spots. Um, so right now, go down in the comment section below and drop your favorite saltwater spot here in the San Francisco Bay area. And if you guys uh, if enough people comment to your spot, then we will do it. So go down right now, comment down below where you guys want our saltwater tournament this month to be held. And I think one other thing too was uh, in most popular fishing tournaments, they're usually more than one day. So maybe we're thinking, we still need to talk about this, but we might make it a two day tournament, which would be super, super sick. And it would be uh, a lot more action packed. So so go down in the comment section and tell us what you guys want. Would you guys want a two-day? Would you guys want a one-day? I don't think we could do three-day, but uh, yeah, Zach. And also, um, another thing about that, even if we do do a two-day or just even if we do do a one-day, if you're interested in just going and fishing and just having fun, uh, you, you don't have to stay for the entire time. It's just it's suggested because, you know, you'll probably catch more fish if you go for the longer amount of time. But if you just want to go for an hour or two hours, that's fine with us. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
Zach, do you want to talk about anything that we've missed so far? Maybe our social medias, other social medias? Yeah, go make sure to follow us on our Instagram at Jay-Z Fishing Charters, our TikTok at Jay-Z Fishing. Subscribe to this YouTube video, to his channel. We just reached 300 subscribers, which is a big checkpoint for us. We're extremely happy about that. Thank you so much for your support. Totally. How about this? If we get 320 subscribers by two weeks, I'll go to Benicius at 5 a.m. and start fishing with Joe. Bet we'll do that. And then if we can, if, if somehow, if somehow, this is a crazy, crazy if, if we could get to 350 subscribers by in a week from when this video drops, we'll do daily uploads for a week. Can I say something even more bold than that? Okay, what? If we get to 500 subscribers by the end of this month, we'll do a full half a month of uh, daily uploads. All right, I guess. <laughs> Again. Sure. <laughs> All right. Five, is it, it's 500 by the end of this month? By the end of October. By, by October 31st, if we get to 500 subs, we'll do half a month of daily uploads. All right. Zach, your green um, screen, screen's a little glitchy right now. <laughs> you might want to um, um, I've got some things to say. Yeah, what's up? So for those of you who are watching like all of our videos, you guys may or may not know that uh, we recently purchased a uh, underwater drone and um, <laughs> we used it in a couple of videos. But it lasts like two, three, four, five videos. We haven't really been using it. And that's because um, we've had some technical difficulties. Um, <laughs> we're working on it. So that's another thing to look forward to. Um, next month is uh, looking out for more, for more um, underwater footage. And I know the last time we did underwater footage was just kind of fish, like camera stuff. Like we were just fish swimming by the camera. But... Uh, we're going to try and work on some more active bite cans um, for you guys, but uh, we're still working on that. It's not, we didn't forget about the underwater footage. It's just, you know, stuff happens. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, Zach, or Jack, I should say, why don't you talk about what we're doing actually right now in about 45 minutes, we're going to be doing a live stream on Favory. Oh Yeah. Uh, yeah, so from 4 to 4.30, we do uh, live streams on Favory, where sometimes we do giveaways. Um, we try and keep it a surprise for when we're going to do giveaways, but uh, last week we did a giveaway. Um, congratulations to Thomas from the Creek Gang for winning that. Um, uh, that was a cool thing. And uh, basically the ideas of the live stream is just we go there, we have we have fun. It's just, you know, we... We ask you guys questions, you guys ask us, us questions, and it's just a great way for us to connect with the community. So um, if you guys want to be maybe even a part of the ne of a next video, go check out our live streams. Favorite link will be down in the description to Favorite. Um, yeah, go check that out. Totally. Um, one other idea, too, that I had for, because I think we, we're probably wrapping up today's monthly review, if I'm not wrong. Is that right, you guys? Mm -hmm. I think what a cool idea is before we all, each one of us wraps up, each one of us will say one goal that we have fishing wise, like a, a 50 pound bat ray or something. So each one of us, why don't we go around and say one goal for a fish that we have this month? Zach, why don't you start? I want to catch over a two pound bass. All right. All right. Um, um, you go. Joe, you want to see yours? No, 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 you can go. All right, so uh, I've got a couple of them. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. All right, so one is catching over like a two, three pound bass. Uh, another is catching uh, a, a saltwater fish on a topwater again. And then my last one is probably catching a bass on a Senko, which I have never done before. <laughs> as funny as that sounds, I've never actually caught a bass on a Senko. Okay. Catch a bass on the number one you were used to catch a bass. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> Hey, um, honestly, I think that's a testament to my bass fishing skills. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> that's the, that could be an argument for both. Yeah. Uh, for me, 
I would love to catch a king salmon um, and maybe do a catch and cook with it. Uh, I would also love to catch a striper on a fly. I think that'd be really cool. And then one fish that I've never caught before, uh, a, a lingcod. I'm not really sure where to catch them around here, but uh, if I could catch a lingcod sometime this month, that would be really, really cool. So um, if you guys don't have anything else to say, I think uh, we could um, you know, wrap it up. Uh, yeah, um, just a couple more things. We have merch. Um, link will be down in the description below. Go check them out. We just uh, recently posted gators. Um, the design on the gators is uh, there. That's an exclusive just gator design. So um, it's just going to be like the gator, not any like t-shirts or anything with the design on. Um, it's just a good way to, you know, show support even more than just subscribing or liking the video. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to go like above and beyond, go check out our merch, go check out our socials, all that stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, all that stuff. Yeah. So, uh, don't forget about our subscriber goals for this, uh, this month, but, uh, yeah. So without any further ado, see you guys on Monday.